So Commissioner Kafferlin's calling in. Yep, hello. Hello, there we are. <coughs> no, Lisa, can I? No, she's on vacation. Okay. Yep. I get this one. Morning, Ben. Good afternoon. There we go. All right. Looks like we have a quorum, so we are going to call the Warren County Commissioner's meeting to order. Uh, if everyone uh, would stand for a Pledge of Allegiance and then followed by a moment of silence. I pledge I allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. is that this meeting is going to uh, be recorded um, and then a list of executive sessions we've had two executive sessions since our last commissioners meeting one related to litigation and the other was associated with personnel um, we don't have anything under correspondence received or outgoing at this time so that being said we'll move on to public comment if there are any of those here who have a public comment We'll move on to the consent agenda. The first item of the consent agenda are the minutes of October 12th, public meeting and public hearing. Um, just want you to peruse them in the event that you see any uh, things that need to be changed, edited. Give me a second for that. Okay. All right. That being said, we do not have a finance report uh, because our finance officer is off. However, we did see come across our desk signatures for a reduction or pay down of the TAN. Uh, that, that's that, that short term note that we utilize uh, to subsidize us until some uh, real estate revenue comes in. So that's, that's positive and I think we're on track for, for same this year versus last. Um, proclamations. Uh, we have three today. Uh, the first is the National Alzheimer's Disease Awareness Month. Um, Commissioner Augusta, would you please share about that with us? Uh, proclamation National Alzheimer's Disease Awareness Month, November 2022. Whereas the Greater Pennsylvania Chapter of the Alzheimer's Association is observing November as National Alzheimer's Disease Awareness Month to raise awareness of this relentless disease for which there is no cure. Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death in the U.S. with over six million Americans living with the disease. It is estimated that one of every three persons uh, will develop the disease resulting in an estimated 60 million cases by 2050. 15.9 uh, million caregivers are contributing over 18.1 billion hours of unpaid care, with many of these being unpaid family members who are continuing to care for their own families and working full-time jobs. Uh, this chapter works to bring about awareness, education, and support to those in Warren County afflicted by the disease, their families and caregivers through lecture programs, family support groups, and referrals to related services. This chapter is working to accelerate medical research and to provide proper diagnosis, care, <coughs> and support for those affected uh, by this disease and to eliminate Alzheimer's disease. Uh, be it resolved that we, the commissioners of Warren County, in recognition of this important cause, proclaim November 2022 as National Alzheimer's Awareness Month in Warren County. Thank you. Uh, the next proclamation relates specifically to Veterans Day. Uh, Veterans Day, which is November 11th. Uh, we are paused to remember men and women who throughout history served bravely, bravely and selfishly in America's armed forces, preserving our strength and security as a nation. These individuals sacrificed a great deal for the cherished causes of freedom and democracy, and as veterans, they deserve and will always have the respect and appreciation of our citizens. On Veterans Day, we will salute the cur their courage and dedication to the defense of our democracy and the sovereignty of freedom-loving nations around the world. Recognize it is an extraordinary person who willingly steps into harm's way to protect others and defend freedom. 
Our rightful and noble heritage dates back to 242 years ago, the Revolutionary War. We owe our veterans a deep debt of gratitude which can never be fully repaid. On this day, set aside in their honor, we take the opportunity to pay tribute to our military veterans for all they've done and continue to do to make the world a better and safer place for a new generation of Americans who will continue to reap the benefits of such a proud legacy of selfless service. Now therefore be resolved, the commissioners hereby proclaim November 11th, 2022 as Veterans Day, adopted this 26th day of October 2022. And then the last proclamation that we have here is a Grief Awareness Month. Um, November is the National Hospice and Palliative Care Month. Uh, the Shoreman Center, um, a place for healing and loss, is an outreach of Hospice of Warren County, acknowledges the importance of, of grief awareness. Uh, the Sherman Center acknowledges 2 million deaths each year, which impacts approximately 20 million people. Um, time is set aside for grief awareness that heightens awareness of our human mortality and addresses our common need for mourning and healing and will promote spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional health. Uh, the Sherman Center, an outreach of Hospice of Warren County, therefore encourages businesses, schools, faith communities, healthcare organizations, civics groups, and neighbors to join them in observing this special time of grief awareness of every person's right to grieve in the faith of death and loss. Therefore, be resolved that Warren County, along with the Sherman Center, en encourages everyone to join us in observing the month of November as Grief Awareness Month in recognition of every person's right to grieve in the face of death and loss. Adopted this 26th day of October 2022. Um, uh, in my past career, I was involved in hospice services in Warren County and the uh, very familiar with the Shoreman Center um, and know that they do great things and that we're very, very fortunate to have such a strong organization in this community. Um, we recognize somebody here for, for Grief Awareness Month. Is there anything that you would like to share with us? I would just say a few words. I promise great. I'll be brief. I'll say it's very fitting that I uh, am here as part of the third proclamation uh, because Hospice of Warren County and the Shoreman Center offer services for both folks who are dealing with Alzheimer's and for veterans. Um, Alzheimer's causes a kind of grief that we call ambiguous grief because we lose the people we love and knew even though they're still here they're not what we, what we knew at one time. So we offer services for that type of grief. Hospice also offers what we call a pinning ceremony for our veterans who are our patients. It's a recognition of the service that they offer to us and to our country. Uh, and the family and friends are invited there. It's a short recognition uh, of what they've given at the end of their lives. Uh, it's the last and least we can do for them. Uh, so thank you for your proclamation once again, and I'll see you next year. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming today. I think that covers the consent agenda. Uh, being so, do we have a motion? Did it. Did it again? I think it burped. Oh. Yeah, I moved it. Thank you. I'll second. <laughs> second. All, all those favorite things by me saying aye. Aye. Opposed. All right. Uh, old business, nothing under our old business. Uh, top line of topic, new business, the solid waste statement of revival. Uh, you'll see in the packet there that the name of the municipal authority is there. Um, you'll also see the... Um, the municipality desiring to revive the authority uh, for additional term to expire on December 31st, 2022. I think maybe if you don't mind, we'll just take the first one and the second one and roll them together in one one separate um, motion. Does that work? Actually, I was going to say that uh, the, re the resolution is the only uh, matter that needs a vote. Okay. And the resolution is the, the official action by the county stating that they will execute the statement of revival. 
Very good. Mm -hmm. So let's move towards that. That's resolution 3228, uh, where we're re reviving the Warren County Solid Waste Authority, um, at, adopted this day, 26th uh, day of October, and then would continue existence until December 31st, 2022. Is there a motion to uh, adopt well, this? Sounds like Commissioner Kafferlin, a second? I'll second. Okay. <laughs> but then I All think right. there's either a delay or you're breaking up, so yeah, maybe just a little be aware delay. of that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, I'm just looking at everything tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I was just saying it comes across like moop, and then <laughs> don't. I, I don't know that I would consider that if I was going Normally by the letter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we have a motion and second. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Okay. Great. Uh, next on the and I would just I would just like uh, to state that this is uh, just till the end of the year with the intention of uh, making all of the various closure per, per, uh, actions official. Um, so the the closure of the the uh, closure fund and the transfer of the bank accounts, the transfer of any um, uh, uh, retirement accounts that are associated with the Solid Waste Authority and. Um, and then also formal documents for for any other financial institution or record that needs to be made. Okay. Get to that point of clarification. <clears throat> the next item on the agenda is Mazda maintenance agreements for the HVAC units for the courthouse in Hickory Street. Um, so the proposed agreement here, the price uh, is ten thousand two hundred dollars per year. It's from January 1, 2020 through January December third. 31st, 2023. That's for the Warren County Courthouse. Then the Hickory Street Annex is a separate um, agreement uh, commencing on the same date, and the agreement price is $3,140 per year uh, through December 31st, 2023. So, are there any questions regarding the maintenance? This is just um, something that we want to make sure that we maintain uh, throughout the courthouse and uh, our annex. If not, could I have a motion to approve these maintenance agreements? I make a motion to approve the Mazda maintenance agreements for HVAC units for the courthouse at Hickory Street. Second. Okay, great. Any comments? Um, Go ahead. Are these, for some reason I thought we did this like six months ago, or is it just, was it actually a year ago? It was a year ago. Okay. And we did go out to um, a couple of local companies. Yeah, I remember. And they were actually, one did not provide a quote, the other one was higher than Mazda. Okay. Good. Any other questions Good. or comments? All right, if not, all those who are in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Very good, and we also have resolution 3229, and that is authorizing fund to route the S S Route 6 Alliance project. Um, it is for $2,500, um, and then we will provide that as a local match for the Route S 6 Alliance project. Um, Make a motion to adopt resolution 3229, authorizing funding of the Route 6 Alliance project. Okay, second? Second. Okay. This is Act 13 money, yes? Yep. Yes, this is Act 13 money. All right, any comments, questions? Okay, all those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Very good. So we move to the closing portion of our agenda. Any commissioner's comments? Um, I'm at the Pennsylvania Economic Development Association conference right now. Uh, actually, just wrapped up, which was all the, the gobbly goo of the year in the, in the background. But um, a couple of really good resources that I picked up that I'll be bringing back uh, for you. One was Center for Rural PA, went into a deep dive on um, uh, some population trend migration, uh, of which Warren County is like top three sufferer in Pennsylvania. Um, and the uh, Federal Reserve Board put out a compendium book on the same topic, uh, which I grabbed a copy for you. 
Um, so I'll be bringing both of those back. Uh, there's a lot of discussion about the federal infrastructure um, monies and um, how we might be able to work collaboratively in the region to uh, benefit from it. But overall, it was actually a really positive uh, uh, time, and uh, I got to hear Todd Eno speak twice, actually, on uh, various topics. She's kind of a rock star down here. Sure. That was pretty cool. PA Wilds is apparently just killing it. Great. Any other comments? Make a motion to adjourn. All right, we have a motion to adjourn. <coughs> All right, <laughs> seconds. <Make> four hours. <laughs> uh, no comments or uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Thank you.